talk a little about eating and drinking. After all, while you're out treasure hunting, it is important to stay hydrated, thus drinking. But something too, you want to have plenty of energy for all the walking you're going to do, the hiking, metal detecting, or whatever you have going on. Mudlarking. Anyway, gang, Sometimes it's always convenient to have a couple of bottles of water handy and something to eat. And uh, if you're close by your car, hey, you know what? You can have an ice chest or lunch bag or whatever you got. But if you're in the woods and uh, backpacking it, one of these may come in handy. This here is a first strike ration. It's a 24-hour ration. Now, some of you military guys, yes, that's right. This also could be called an MRE. Meals ready to eat, I believe it's called. But anyway, hey, you know what? You'll see a little bit about it. Hey, take a look at this. The first soldier ration was established by a congressional resolution during the Revolutionary War. It consisted mostly of salt beef, peas, and rice. Then, the Civil War, the military moved towards canned goods. Typically in poor supply, both sides depended mainly on what could either be commandeered or foraged. During the First World War, canned meats were replaced by lightweight preserved meats to lighten the load and permit more rations to be carried. At the beginning of World War II, several new rations were introduced, such as the Mountain Ration and Jungle Ration. However, due to cost-cutting measures, heavy canned sea rations were issued. The use of canned rations were in use through the Vietnam War. At this time, the new MCI field rations were introduced. MCIs were used until 1983 when the Meal Ready to Eat, or MREs, were introduced. But anyway, gang, it is kind of like the same concept, and uh, these are rather lightweight. This weighs probably less than two pounds. So, uh, yeah, it may be a good thing to have. I won't give this a whirl. I, I'm going to take this with me on my next backpacking probably old stagecoach road hike and uh, sample it along the way. But anyway, gang, before we do that, I'm going to give you guys, as well as myself, a look at it, see what's included. We could cheat and just look at the back and list the contents, but ah, we want to see what's actually inside and see what it looks like and see if there's anything particular that we would need to take this on our journey. Anyway, gang, ready? Here we go. All right, gang. Well, here is our content of the first strike ration. And uh, by the way, this happens to be menu number five. It has all this good stuff in it. Anyway, gang. Well, we've got a spoon. Now come in handy. And we got a little utility pack. It looks like there's some gum in it. I believe this little thing here is some toilet paper. I'm not sure. I'm not going to dig into that quite yet. Matches, some um, moist towelettes. I'm not quite sure what this is, but now nah, we'll find out. And we also got some cool mints with caffeine. There's our turkey nuggets. Nut raisin mix. Cinnamon bun. Honey Barbecued Chicken Sandwich. Lemon Pepper Tuna. Some sort of toaster pastry frosted brown sugar thing. Corn Nuggets. Chocolate Flavor Nutritious Energy Bar. Some crackers. Applesauce. 
a sealable bag. I guess that would be for your leftovers if you had any. Peanut butter. To go with your crackers. Mixed berry energy gel. And we got some beverage mixes. We got some beverage base powder grape. And we also have some chocolate protein drink powder. And yes, it looks like our water will be needed. And probably a pocket knife to open these. But anyway, gang, when I take these out on the uh, next Stagecoach Road hike, I'll be uh, sampling this as we go along. Now, they say this is a 24-hour ration. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking at some of the nutritional facts on the backs of these. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to be careful because it looks like it is sodium city. Anyway, gang, you know what to do. Stay tuned for more because there will be more. All right, gang, here we go. Jiggle it. Try jiggling it. Yeah, sometimes they start when you jiggle them. All right, gang. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was out with MC, and we hit a phenomenal spot. We pulled out a total of five coins, and three of them were George II from 1747, and the majority of them were toasted. However, we pulled out this one. This one here is a bit unique. It is a 1723 George I halfpenny. And yes, this happens to be Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium's oldest copper to date. So, uh, and yes, we will probably not be cleaning it any further than what it is. Just because, yeah, we like it this way. But anyway, gang, just goes to show you, treasure's out there. You just gotta go out and find it. All right, gang. All right, gang, after all the years of being 65, this made up for it. Made it under the wire. Silver. All right, gang, stay tuned.